Hello, I'm Will Sampson from Cabinet Maker FDM Magazine. We're in the shop today to talk about a heavy duty heat gun from DeWalt. This is the model D26960 and it comes in a nice blow molded case with a bunch of accessories. There are various different shaped tips that mount on the front. There is a, uh, a little handle with threaded end so that you can put on various shape scraper type tools. Just tighten on. <laughs> it's, interesting. it's interesting all of the uh, the tools have square holes on them as if they were to mount on some square fixture but the uh, tool is only round. Uh, not figured that out yet. <laughs> um, and there's a, a putty knife. One of the things that I think is nice about the case is that it has a place for the instruction manual. A lot of cases don't include that feature. Um, the uh, heat gun itself has several interesting features. Let's zoom in a little bit here so you can see things close up. First off, uh, from a safety standpoint, there's this nice collar on the front of the gun that removes easily, but it protects you from, from uh, burning yourself on the nozzle. It's very easy to put different tips on the nozzle for different heating and that sort of thing. They just slide on and off. Um, the, uh, there are two settings on the switch, so there's two air settings. Uh, the unit itself goes up to 1100 degrees and it has a, a digital readout here on the back which we'll show you in a minute. Probably the most unique and interesting feature of this is this little kickstand right down here. So I'll back out a little bit again so you can see. So when you put the gun down it stands up on its own. That's not only useful for safety, so you're not laying it down and burning something, but it also means that you can use this as a freestanding heat source, hot air, so that you could do some wood bending or something like that. Well, let's fire it up and show you how it works. I'm going to zoom in again so you can see the digital readout. Right here, and there's just two buttons here. You can push it to go, the setting to go up in increments of 50 degrees. It heats up pretty fast. They said there was two settings on it. So that's right now you're hearing the high setting. And I slow it down. It's a little slower. Less air coming out. And as I said, you can just set it down on its little kickstand with no worries of burning anything. Um, so what do you need a heat gun for? In the wood shop there are a number of uses. Um, if you're doing any uh, uh, wood bending you can use, you know, normally you might use a steam bending setup but for quick small things you could use this heat for for bending. Um, you can use it for paint removal. That's what a lot of the scraper tools are designed for. Uh, You could use it for removing labels off of, uh, uh, you know, metal or glass surfaces. Uh, you change the labels on your truck, you could take the labels off, that sort of thing. Um, 
there's uh, a number of you know fast drying of, of paint finishes, uh, forced drying of, of paint finishes. Um, I've seen where people were using uh, uh, spot powder powder coating and using that on here. There's all sorts of different uses for a heat gun. It's the kind of tool that once you have it, you start thinking about ways that you can use it. Um, and uh, uh, but the the probably the primary things in a wood shop would be in in paint removal and uh, force drying and. Uh, small bending applications. Uh, you know, plumbing. They, they, they. Uh, I did not test it, uh, and uh, but they claim with the uh, uh, smallest tip, you could get uh, enough focused heat to do light soldering with this. I kind of think I'd probably grab for a torch instead of this, but that's uh, another possible application. The whole kit, as you see it here, is. I'm seeing street prices of around 100 bucks, a little over 100 bucks. So uh, not a bad uh, tool to have around for the times that you might need it. We have lots of other tool reviews on our website at cabinetmakerfdm.com. Uh, and uh, you can see other information about tools on, on our website as well. That's what we've got for today. Thanks for watching.